Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Now in this video I am going to discuss a few numericals from the question bank prescribed by the Assam High Secondary Education Council. And I have the question bank, so uh, these are the questions, okay. So I am going to discuss a uh, few of the uh, numerical problems. So this is chapter wave optics, numerical problems. So number one question is, you have two monochromatic waves propagating in same direction with amplitude A and thrice A and differing in phase by pi by 3. Superpose, calculate the amplitude of the resultant wave. Okay. So, see amplitude of the resultant wave, it is given by the uh, equation A is equal to A1 square plus A2 square plus twice A1 A2 cos phi. Okay. So, here A1 and A2 are the amplitudes of the given waves and phi is the phase difference. Now, in this problem, this A1, in this problem A1 is equal to A, A2 is equal to thrice A and uh, differing in phase by pi by 3. So, this phi is pi by 3. So, if you substitute these values, you can get the value of the resultant amplitude. Okay. So, this is how you have to proceed. Now, in question number 2, in Young's double slit experiment, find the intensity of light at a position on the screen where part difference is lambda by 4. The amplitude of the waves are equal. Okay. Now, in case the amplitude of the waves are equal, in that case, the resultant intensity, it is given by 4a square cos square phi by 2. Okay. So, amplitudes are equal means both the waves have same amplitude. So, this is 4a square, a is the amplitude of the individual waves. Okay. Now, this equation is in terms of phase difference, phi is the phase difference. In this question, they have given the part difference. Now, see, suppose this is the wave. Now, if this point is 0, this is lambda. So, that means between these two points, the part difference is lambda. And in terms of phase, if this is 0, this is pi, this is 2 pi. So, it implies a part difference of lambda is equivalent to a phase difference of twice pi. Okay. Now, here the part difference is lambda by 4. Okay. So, part difference of lambda is equal to phase difference of twice pi. So, part difference of lambda by 4 will be equal to phase difference of twice pi by 4 dividing both sides by 4. So, this is equal to pi by 2. Phi is pi by 2. Okay. Now, if phi is pi by 2, this is i is equal to 4 a square cos square phi is pi by 2 divided by 2. So, this is cos square pi by 2. 4 okay now this is cos square pi by 4 is 1 by 2 so this intensity will be equal to twice a square so i equal to twice a square will be the final answer uh, for the next question you have uh, in young's double slit experiment ratio of intensity of maximum to minimum is 25 is to 9 so that is uh, this is question number 3 i max by i minimum this is 25 by 9 Okay, and what is the ratio of the width of the two slits? Okay, now I max by I minimum, it is equal to root I1 plus root I2 whole square. This is I max and uh, I minimum is root I1 minus root I2 the whole square. Now, this quantity is 25 by 9. Okay. And uh, you have to, you are asked to calculate the ratio of the width of the slits. See, ratio of the width of the slits, it is related to the intensity as uh, W1 by W2. Here, W1 by W2 represents the ratio of the width of the slits. And I1 by I2 are the ratio of the intensity. So, I1 by I2 is equal to W1 by W2. So, this is what is required. Okay. Now, if you take square root, so this is root I1 plus root I2 divided by root i1 minus root i2 is equal to 5 by 3. Now, if you cross multiply and then simplify, you can get the value of i1 by i2 and that will be equal to w1 by w2. Okay. So, I hope you will be able to do this. Now, next problem is prove that ratio of intensities at maxima and minima. You have to prove that uh, this is number 4, i max by i minimum, it is equal to r plus 1 by r minus 1. Okay, you have to prove this relation and what is this value r? r is equal to a1 by a2. 
okay where a1 and a2 are the amplitudes okay so this i max in terms of amplitude i max by i minimum in terms of amplitude it is a1 plus a2 square by a1 minus a2 square okay and a1 by a2 is r so if i take a2 common from numerator and denominator this is a2 square a2 is taken out so this is what a1 by a2 plus 1 square divided by a2 square a1 by a2 minus 1 square this is gone what is a1 by a2 a1 by a2 is r so this is r plus 1 square by r minus 1 square so this is i max by i minimum okay so i hope this is clear to you next is uh, question number five the fringe width in young's double slit pattern is 0 0.3 millimeter when red light of wavelength 6500 angstrom is used by how much will it change if blue light of wavelength 4000 angstrom is used okay so now uh, this is question number five so question number five uh, this uh, fringe width is given 0 0.3 millimeter okay this is the fringe width for lambda when it is red red color wavelength so it is 6500 angstrom okay now they have asked how much it will change if blue light of wavelength for lambda blue 4000 4000 angstrom how much this fringe width changes so this beta fringe width it is lambda d by d okay capital d is the distance of the screen from the slit and small d is the separation between the slits okay so for this blue 0 0.3 millimeter into 10 power minus 3 meter it is equal to 6500 into 10 power minus 10 meter this is lambda into d by d okay now simplifying this you will get the value of d by d okay d by d will be obtained okay then for blue when it is blue beta for blue it will be lambda for blue d by d now lambda for blue it is 4000 angstrom it is given d by d is calculated from this now if you substitute the value of both the values you will get beta b okay now they have asked what is the how much will it change so you have to find the difference between beta red and beta blue you have to find subtract beta red minus beta blue so this is how you have to proceed question number six yellow light of wavelength 6000 angstrom produces fringes of width 0 0.8 millimeter in young's double slit experiment what will be the fringe width if light source is replaced by another monochromatic source of wavelength 7500 angstrom and the separation between the slit is doubled now this is also based on the same formula now, just the second case the slit width is doubled so i hope you will be able to do this now next is in young's double slit experiment this is question number seven in young's double slit experiment two parallel slits are made one millimeter apart and the screen is placed one meter away what is the fringe separation when monochromatic radiation of wavelength 500 nanometer is used fringe separation is same as fringe width so you ask to calculate the fringe width all that so beta is again lambda d by d so all the quantities wavelength distance of the screen the screen distance is one meter slit separation this is small d is one millimeter all the things are given so you can calculate the value of beta okay now next question number eight light of wavelength 600 nanometer falls normally on a slit of width 1.2 micrometer producing Fraunhofer diffraction pattern on the screen calculate the angular position of the first minimum and angular width of the central maximum okay this is number eight now angular position of the first minimum it is given by theta is equal to lambda by d see uh, this is the diffraction pattern so this is lambda by d this is minus lambda by d this is 2 lambda by d this is minus 2 lambda by d okay now here they have asked uh, calculate the angular position of the first minimum so this is the first minimum 
so angular position is this lambda by d okay so theta is equal to lambda by d okay the quantities are already given in the question lambda is given lambda is 600 nanometer and uh, slit width is 1.2 micrometer so you have to convert both the quantities into meter okay then angular width of the central maxima angular width of the central maxima is this quantity so that is 2 lambda by d okay so you have to find the value of lambda by d multiplied by 2 so that will be the answer for the angular width of the central maxima okay question number 9 parallel light of wavelength 5000 angstrom falls normally on a single slit the central maximum spreads out on to 30 degree on either side of the incident light find the width of the slit okay see this is the diffraction pattern this is the central maxima this is the secondary minima so this this is the central maxima so it spreads 30 degree on either sides okay so this is 30 degree this is also 30 degree so that means angular spread of the minima theta is equal to 30 degree this is for first minimum okay now they have asked find the width of the slit this is same formula now theta is lambda by d for small angle this theta is sin theta so this is sin theta equal to lambda by d so theta uh, sin theta is given 30 degree so this is sin 30 degree is equal to lambda by d lambda is given so from that you can calculate the value of d okay so this is question number 9 question number 10 assume that light of wavelength 6000 angstrom is coming from a star okay what is the limit of resolution of the telescope whose objective has a diameter of 2.54 meter okay. resolution so limit of resolution this is delta theta this is equal to 0 0.61 lambda by a okay so objective has a diameter of 2.54 meter okay now in this uh, this a this in the derivation if you remember this a is actually half aperture so this is if you multiply this by 2 this is 1.22 lambda by twice a so this twice a is the aperture or the diameter okay so lambda is given and uh, twice a is this quantity 2.54 so from that you can calculate the limit of resolution okay so these are the first 10 questions uh, of the numerical problems i hope uh, this video is beneficial in case you find it useful so do, do comment so that i can also give solution to the other questions in addition to the problems of higher order thinking the hots okay so my best wishes good luck